Hello, I'm Lolly. Welcome back to my channel today. I have a more serious subject to discuss today, and that is Etsy's new free shipping policy. Many YouTubers have been weighing in on this, and I wanted to let you know my thoughts and how this is going to affect my Etsy shop. So I uh, printed out the information from Etsy and also from another website, and I will be giving you screenshots of those things, plus I will uh, give you a link down below to this uh, federal website that I'm referring to. And, um, and I also wrote uh, notes to myself so I would stay on target and not get too long. So we need the granny glasses. So Etsy's website states this uh, about their policy. Get priority placement in U.S. searches when you offer free shipping on individual items or on orders $35 and above to shoppers in the U.S., we have made a tool that makes it easy to recover shipping costs. So a um, little bit of uh, editorial comment here. So what this means is that if we offer free shipping as Etsy sellers, when you as a buyer are searching in Etsy for an item, the shops that you will see first or the products you will see first are only from those who are offering free shipping. Those who don't comply with this uh, policy of Etsy will be at the very bottom of your search list. So it is a form of punishment to not comply. Okay, also on Etsy, web Etsy website, we are here to help. We created a new smart pricing tool that lets you guarantee free shipping to U.S. buyers for orders $35 of $35 and above. Setting an order minimum for free shipping can help encourage shoppers to spend more in your shop so you could make more per sale. This tool will be available to all sellers next week. We also made it easy to bulk edit listings for items $35 and up so you can adjust your item prices and recover your shipping costs. You'll notice that I have highlighted or underlined some of the information on that. So um, I'm here to talk about U.S. sellers selling to U.S. buyers, but I know this does affect international people as well, and they are posting their own videos on that. Here are my concerns. Crafters sell handmade goods, which are already hard enough to recoup their costs on. We do not get paid minimum wage on these items. Now I'm talking about um, craft goods, if we offer free shipping and don't increase our prices, we can't afford to do that. I sell craft supplies too, which are heavily heavy to mail. So I sell three types of items in my shop. I sell digital items, which don't get shipped. So free shipping is not even uh, um, applied to that. But I sell handmade items that I have made, and I sell pre-made craft tools, craft supplies. Craft tools are heavy to mail. So let's say uh, you order $35 uh, to qualify for free shipping in my shop, and I am able to cram that all into one flat rate padded envelope for $8, which is my lowest cost to ship. On that $35 order, I would roughly make $14 normally. That is uh, because of my cost in buying those items and all of my seller fees. So for me to pay $8 shipping is only to make $6 on that order. Now consider my time spent in listing the items, the time spent answering the buyer's questions. Sometimes I am back and forth with a buyer for two hours uh, in communication. My time packaging those items uh, and the little gifts that I include in with my in with my people's purchases, making my own mailing labels online because Etsy doesn't offer that service for flat shipping. And also the ship, the actual physical shipping of that. Either I am going online and ordering a pickup and then realizing it never got picked up and I'm still taking it to the post office or I'm just taking it to the post office. All that time, I end up making a couple dollars an hour. So should I adjust my prices and recover my shipping costs as Etsy suggests? I do not plan on doing that and here's why. Number one is it, there is a possibility that that is illegal to do so. And there is if um, a website, I'm going to give you the link down below. I encourage you to go look. But this is a um, screenshot of what it says. Because the purchasing public continually searches for the best buy and regards the offer of free merchandise or service, that's shipping, 
To be a special bargain, all such offers must be made with extreme care so as to avoid any possibility that consumers will be misled or deceived. Now I'm going to skip down to the next uh, section on their website. The meaning of free. Number one, the public understands that except with the case of introductory offers, da 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 An offer of free merchandise or service is based upon a regular price for the merchandise or service which must be purchased by consumers in order to avail themselves of that which is represented to be free. In other words, when the purchaser is told that an article is free to him if another article is purchased, the free indicates he is paying nothing for that article and no more than regular price for the other the purchaser has the right to believe that the merchant will not directly or immediately recover in whole or in part the cost of the free merchandise or service by marking up the price of the article to be purchased. So what does that mean, all you lawyers out there? Is it illegal? Um, that website is kind of scary. It's pointed. The buyer has the right to assume that the original price is not elevated to compensate for the free item. And that's, I believe that is true. So um, besides that, uh, I just do not feel comfortable adjusting prices and using practices which deceive or mislead my buyers. Whether it's a ready-made craft tool or a craft that I have made, I should not boost the price higher and then tell you you're getting something for free like shipping when you are not. Um, and number three, I also believe that my customers are not that uninformed. When someone says, adjust your prices and recover your shipping costs, and that is a direct quote from Etsy, adjust your prices and recover your shipping costs. It sounds like they could add, your customers will never know. Wink, wink. If I raise my price, for instance, crafters, you know that a certain tool from We Are Memory Keepers is $20. If I am charging $25 for that item, you are going to know that I have artificially raised my prices on that item. If I have been charging a certain price for journals that I make and I raise the price all of a sudden to cover shipping, you will know that as well. And you should. I don't intend to deceive. So um, what about of those prices now. What I charge now is by weight, which is what the post office charges me. So recently I did something where I was shipping something pretty heavy and it cost $8 to ship just one of those, but it also cost the same amount to ship two of them. So you could buy one or you could buy two for the same $8 flat rate shipping. What if I decide to offer free shipping and just raise or adjust my prices to reflect shipping? So let's say that $10 item, and I decide to charge $18 for that item from now on to cover my shipping costs. Well, in the past, without free shipping, it would have only cost you $10 for one item, $10 for the second item, and $8 shipping. So that's $28. But under the new system, with me raising my price to cover the shipping, it's $18 for one and $18 for the other. So now it's $36 when you buy two instead of $28 to buy two. So in actuality, if I raise my prices to cover my shipping or cover the shipping cost, you will pay more. Does that make sense? Because in, in many situations, not always, but in many situations, you will end up paying more so the $35 that you, um, and sometimes I am going to lose, sometimes you are going to lose, but it's not a good situation. Um, secondly, or next, Amazon does not ship for free. We pay for that service. We pay for Amazon Prime. We pay $100 a year and we pay higher prices. Amazon got in trouble for that. Um, it was noticed and there was proof provided that the exact same item from the exact same supplier on Amazon was more expensive with Amazon Prime and free shipping than it was without Amazon Prime. And people addressed the situation and now Amazon has a disclaimer on their items saying, this item may potentially be uh, at a lower price from these particular sellers. So now they, they have to include that uh, caveat there. Also, Amazon buys super cheap because they get an enormous bulk discount. I just want to let you know at this point, I will not be offering free shipping nor artificially raising my prices. I believe that this new policy is one that is sugar-coated to sound like it's good for, it's for our good. We'll get more orders. 
when in actuality it is harmful to small businesses and to businesses that ship heavy items and it's harmful to customers. It's deceptive and like I gave you the example of something that I used to sell, if you would buy two of those, you would end up paying more under the new system than you would have under the old system. So I believe it's harmful all the way around. I don't know who other than Etsy and their investors is going to benefit from this. Um, you decide what you are going to do. If you have an Etsy shop, I'm not telling you what to do with your shop. These are my opinions and I'm just letting my customers know what I am doing moving forward. And if you are a buyer, don't boycott Etsy. There are sellers there who rely upon your business. And none of us asked for this new policy and the sellers will suffer. And if the seller, sellers decide not to suffer by raising those prices and then the buyer suffers. So either way, I don't see it as a win-win situation at all. And the only way that they say we're going to get more orders and more sales is if we comply with this, because if we do not comply, it automatically therefore means less um, uh, sales because we will no longer be ranked at the top of the um, of the search engine. The other thing is that uh, others have been commenting on is when you search, Etsy is doing away with the seller name. So it used to be you would, when you would search, you would see all these different items for what you're searching for. It would have the item, it would have the price, it would have a rating, and it would have the, the shop name in there. They're doing away with putting the shop name as though we are losing our individuality and we are all just cogs in this huge machine of Etsy. It's all about Etsy and no longer about the seller. That's what some are saying that they feel about that. Um, and so all these changes are rolling out on the 30th or 31st of this month. And um, as I said, I, at this point, I am committing to not raising my prices nor offering free shipping. I already have a couple of items that are free shipping because they're flat, so flat I can put them in a regular letter mailing envelope, not a padded envelope. And so there's no point in charging you for that shipping. Um, so tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are on this subject. And please be informed. Look at the link I will give you below to the federal website because I think that is very telling and uh, we need to look at that carefully and consider the ramifications of that. Um, thank you so much for watching and please do get engaged in comments down below. Be respectful to everyone and to their opinions on this matter. Thank you very much.